Good morning, everybody. Once again, it is March 7th, 2018, 648 a.m., and we are all preparing for Winter Storm Quinn slash Nor'easter Quinn slash who's getting snow, who's not getting snow. Well, uh, here's the answer. Anything in the blue that you see here, you will be getting snow. Now, if you remember in the last video, guys, I was talking about areas of Long Island and Boston and Nantucket. It looks like there's no snow there. Now, it doesn't mean that there's going to be no uh, precipitation in general. It actually means there's possibility there might not be snow. And we talked about this because there's a few different situations going on here that create a nor'easter, and that's two low-pressure systems. Right now in the pink, you have winter storm warnings, which basically means brace for snow. It's coming no matter what you do. Uh, just be prepared. And then we have our blue color here, which is the winter storm watch. Uh, winter weather advisory rather you got that and then you can see there's some green there and that's coastal flooding warnings You can see right here coastal flood advisory now just because those areas I showed in Ventu sky here uh, Show nothing over them. This is actually a snow and ice chart if I change over to precipitation Then we begin to see that the system is going to move we got to bring it back to Tuesday, which is right now here is the 7th by tomorrow, and you can see the precipitation is all over the place. This is the low pressure system that is driving forward or pulling out Winter Storm Quinn. As of right now, they believe that areas of Nantucket and Long Island will not get the snow, but you will get rain, and you are under wind advisories for clo uh, coastal flooding, rather. Now, I have a satellite image pulled up for you to give you a current idea of how this thing is beginning to spin. You can see Quinn dipping down below the Great Lakes now. It is moving in a counterclockwise motion, and then we have our moisture strip that we talked about yesterday, which is creating that second low that is hugging the coast closer um, than we had previously thought, and that is the reason why there's areas of uh, near Nantucket, uh, even parts of our uh, north or southeast Connecticut, parts of Rhode Island, maybe even Montauk is in this area, uh, may not get the crazy amount of snow as the western half of Long Island gets. That's how much of a difference we have here. We could be 12, 10 miles, and it's difference between a foot of snow and 3 to 5 inches. So what I did here on Ventu Sky, even though it's not always super accurate, it will give you a decent idea. We're going to go to snow cover, and we're going to move into Thursday, and then Friday. And you can see this is an accumulation over time. So this is going to include today, tomorrow, and Friday. And you can see there are areas that are certainly going to get that 18-inch number. Uh, I believe we are talking New Hampshire here. Here is Vermont. Now, there are areas within New York that are expected to get close to the, that 13, 14-inch range. I believe there's more areas than that. There's an average of 3 to 5 all over the place. They did downgrade where I lived a little bit. Um, as of right now, uh, Bangor, Maine is going to get that 12 to 18. Uh, Burlington, Vermont is also in that 12 to 18 range. Boston, it's still on this line. Now, this line may be red or... Uh, it may be that snow and rain mix, but you're still going to have high winds, a lot of rain, and you're going to have the coastal issue going on where a lot of water is being pulled in because that low system is moving counterclockwise and it is pulling water into the coast. We talk about that a lot with the cyclones as well. Um, as far as New York goes, uh, areas of Syracuse, you will get the 8 to 12. Uh, upstate New York, the farther up new in New York you are, the more snow you're going to get and the higher altitudes. Um, right now it's saying Buffalo 3 to 5. But I don't think that's going to be the situation. I think Buffalo is going to be more of a 6 to 8. Uh, 8 to 10 deal. Philadelphia is expected to get 8 to 12 inches, uh, maybe a little lower actually, in my opinion. Uh, basically what you need to do is prepare for snow, guys. It's very hard at this point uh, to tell unless we get into uh, the minute Doppler radar areas of who's going to get uh, so many inches here, so many inches there. Basically we need to understand that this is a winter storm. It's winter storm Quinn. And we have a low pressure system that is causing this to be a nor'easter that is um, adding to the wind factors. So the coastal areas all the way from Chesapeake Bay up through Long Island, the exposed parts of Connecticut, uh, we got uh, Massachusetts in there, New Hampshire, and then up into Maine where there's going to be a lot of wind eventually, uh, 60 to 70 mile an hour gusts. Uh, that includes areas of Boston and Nantucket. These winds 
Uh, you can't predict how fast the winds are going to be, but th there's been a good average of 50 to 70 miles an hour with these nor'easters we've been having. And when you have that uh, system that comes over the Great Lakes, like Winter Storm Quinn is currently doing, and then you have the low pressure coming up the coast, they do spin around each other. It does give it more force, and there you have the wind. So uh, uh, on to Pennsylvania. I'd say three-quarters of Pennsylvania, the cutoff line about here, uh, all the way west is an average of three to five. There is some areas in there that are a little bit bigger. Um, let me see if I can zoom in a little more here. It is saying four to six. Basically, basically add two inches to whatever you see here because I really think that these snow amounts are uh, low-balled here. But you can see Philadelphia doesn't have anything over it yet. But it's also on the Weather Channel, they're saying they're getting 12 to 18 inches. So, again, this is just a guideline. This is telling you where the snow cutoff lines are going to be. Uh, Chesapeake Bay, you're kind of out of the deal here. You may get some rain, wind. There's going to be a lot of wind associated with this, that's for sure. Uh, let me run through this model real quick. I'm going to zoom out for you. All right, and then let's back up and let's just get an idea of the shape of this thing and why we're getting these winds. You can see Winter Storm Quinn is beginning to be a, a spinning system. It is now entering the west areas of New York. It is now pushing into northeast Pennsylvania. I am beginning to get flurries myself from this. I actually have to cut this video a little short because i got to get my day in at work before the snow hits. Uh, the guy I work with plows, so once the snow starts sticking, we have to stop working. So I want to get as much done as possible uh, for the weekend. And then that second low system is coming up here that is hugging the coast, and that is what's driving Quinn back into the coast and, uh, and allowing areas of like Montauk and certain areas of Connecticut Connecticut maybe, and certain areas of Massachusetts to not get that heavy snowfall, but you will get the wind, you will get the rain, and you will get the beach erosion. The wind factor is a big deal, 60 to 70 mile an hour gusts all around the board, all the way up to Maine. And now let's check out uh, tropical tidbits real quick, and you see that yellow strip, that's because that's moisture. Now again, like I said, those areas of Boston and the everything that is not getting affected by Winter Storm Quinn and being pushed in by this low pressure system that's closer to the coast rather than out here. If it was out here, Winter Storm Quinn would be covering the entire Northeast and all of New Jersey, all of Connecticut, all of uh, Massachusetts, New Hampshire would all be getting the same amount of snow. But because we have this low pressure interacting, it's going to be a wind and rain event for a couple of these areas on the coast. Again, it's very hard to say unless you are watching the Doppler radar, um, which I will do when I get back from work. Uh, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Again, it's a 3 to 5 average all over New York. There are areas that are going to get 12 to 18. Uh, even back here in Detroit, Detroit's going to get 5 to 8 inches from the remainder of Quinn. So it's not just the exact north East that's still being affected by Quinn. This is coming in the next couple hours, and then we have that moisture strip coming up, and you saw those yellows, so get ready for the rain for those areas that don't show snow. All right, guys, any questions, please leave below. I will be digging into this much, much more detail uh, when I get out of work today. Sorry I had to rush. I also put up another video. I just watched a power line explode outside my window this morning, so that was nice to see. Um, and that's it, guys. Stay safe. Look, you got your winter storm warnings here. You got your wind advisories, and you got your winter storm watches here. That's really all that could be said. This site here is weather.gov. You can select your individual county, and it will give you up-to-date info every hour on what you should expect. All right, guys. Have a great morning. I'll talk to you all this afternoon. Bye-bye.